First reading, a reading from the first letter of Saint Paul to the Corinthians, chapter three, verses nine to eleven, sixteen to seventeen. The temple of God is sacred, and you are that temple. You are God's building. By the grace God gave me, I succeeded as an architect and laid the foundations on which someone else is doing the building. Everyone doing the building must work carefully, for the foundation nobody can lay any other than the one which has already been laid. That is Jesus Christ. Didn't you realize that you were God's temple, and that the Spirit of God was living among you? If anybody should destroy the temple of God, God will destroy him, because the temple of God is sacred. and you are that temple the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm the water of a river gives joy to god's city the holy place where the most high dwells the water of a river gives joy to god's city the holy place where the most high dwells God is for us a refuge and strength a helper close at hand in time of distress so we shall not fear though the earth should rock though the mountains fall into depths of the sea response the water of a river give joy to God's city the holy place where the most high dwells the waters of a river give joy to God's city the holy place where the most high dwells god is within it cannot be shaken god will help it at the dawning of the day response the water of a river give joy to god's city the holy place where the most high dwells the lord of hosts is with us the god of jacob is our stronghold come consider the works of the lord the redoubtable deeds he has done on earth response the water of a river give joy to god's city the holy place where the most high dwells gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia i have chosen and consecrated this house says the lord for my name to be there forever alleluia The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 2 verses 13 to 22. Just before the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And in the temple he found people selling cattle and sheep and pigeons and the money changers sitting at their customers care making a whip out of some cord he drove them all out of the temple cattle and sheep as well scattered the money changers coins knocked their tables over and said to the pigeon sellers take all this out of here and stop turning my father's house into a market then his disciples remembered the words of scripture zeal for your house will devour me the jews intervened and said what sign can you show us to justify what you have done jesus answered destroy this sanctuary and in 3 days i will raise it up The Jews replied, "It has taken forty-six years to build the sanctuary. Are you going to raise it up in three days?" But he was speaking of the sanctuary that was his body. And when Jesus rose from the dead, the disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the words he had said. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, 
the readings of today invites us to pay attention to the temple of God, not what which is built on stones, but the temple which symbolizes our own very selves because God resides in us as He has created us in His image and likeness. And therefore, we are the living stones, the living temples of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And this is what the readings are reminding each one of us to keep ourselves pure and holy because God resides in each one of us. Dear friends, as the Universal Church celebrates the dedication of the Lateran Basilica, it recalls that the building is only a sign of the more authentic dwelling place of God. Jesus and through Jesus, his mystical body and the body of believers. We are reminded that just as Ezekiel saw life-giving water flow from the temple of God, so the life-giving water flowing from the pierced side of Jesus and from his body gives life to the new house of God, the church. The image of water as seen by Ezekiel corresponds with the cleansing water of baptism, which flows through the church and gives life to all who are plunged into the life of Jesus. Today, dear friends, we reflect not on the bunch of stones that make up a particular building in the city of Rome, but we think about all who make up the church, that is, the body of Christ. We are the living stones who have come together so that God may have a dwelling place here on earth. This reminds each one of us that it is our obligation to be a God's dwelling place for God as we can be. People should be able to experience the presence of God when they are near us. It is when I am aware of God's dwelling in me, then we can say with the psalmist of today, God is in our midst. So my dear brothers and sisters, today when we remember the dedication of the Lateran Basilica, let us in a very special way remember that we are the living church, that we are the living stones. Let us keep ourselves pure and holy so that God may reside in us and we become another Christ to our brothers and sisters. Amen. <laughs>